Hello, my name is Cheyenne Cowell with Roan State and I'm here with Pam May with Roan Alliance. Pam, can you please tell us about some of the highlights from Roan Alliance? Sure, I'd love to. We just uh, released our 2018 annual report and uh, we are very excited about all the accomplishments that uh, we saw from last year. Uh, we hope everybody will uh, review the report. It's available at our office um, or you can uh, access it online at ronalliance.org slash report. Uh, but some of the highlights from uh, the, the report is the lowest unemployment since 2004 um, and that's within 0.1% of the national average. Uh, so that was very good uh, news for Rome County. Uh, we had 383 new net jobs as reported from our industries and that was the largest net job growth, uh, one of the largest in over a decade. Uh, so again, there is a lot of good news for Rome County. Um, Education Matters program is is going gangbusters. Alan Lutz, everybody knows him um, and we've done some of the uh, things um, in the state that was the first. One of them was holding the uh, all teacher middle school uh, visits uh, to our industry. There were five participating industries and every one of the middle school teachers participated and that was the first in the state uh, that, it, that had ever happened. Um, also we were awarded the seal of approval from the American Association of Retirement Communities. Uh, so Rome County is definitely um, being visited by retir retirees and, and people are looking to move here, so that's exciting. Yeah, sounds really nice. Can you please tell us more about some of the upcoming changes? Yes, um, I actually, uh, as the President and CEO of the Rome Alliance, will be making some staff changes. Um, not with the staff themselves, uh, we have the best team we've ever had um, and we um, I hope to use their strengths and just change some of their responsibilities. And of course, we will focus on tourism like we always have done. Um, as the report shows, uh, $70 million was spent by visitors in our county. That was an increase of $2.33 million from the year before. Uh, so we certainly know that that is an impact to our economy. So we want to focus on that. Uh, Sam Jones and Alex Ryder will be helping me uh, run those programs. And Alex Ryder actually will become our project manager uh, for all of our partners uh, and specifically for retiree recruitment. So we are going to uh, really increase that effort as well. Um, Sam Jones, uh, she does our marketing. A lot of people already know her, but um, she's going to be focused just on marketing for the most part. Um, mar marketing for all of our partners, marketing for the cities and the county, um, and doing all of the PR and advertising that we do uh, on social media, media and in our um, magazines and that sort of thing. Um, and then several people will just remain uh, where they are because they um, do such a great job. Uh, Justin Snow uh, will be in industrial recruiting, but we'll also add some retail recruiting to that uh, and focus on some tourism industries uh, to bring um, them here because of our lake. We feel like that's a good niche for us. Um, and then like I mentioned, Alan Lutz with Education Matters uh, and Courtney Briley with the Chamber. Um, one um, big promotion is Teresa uh, Jackson. She has been with the Rhone Alliance uh, for 20 years next month. And so I have made her um, VP of Operations. She'll be my right arm. She knows everything about the Alliance, everything that happened in the past, and I feel like she can help us move forward, and I'm very excited about that. I hope she is too. All right, well, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having me.